how to use Tideo. So this video will be for you if you're looking to use Tideo for your website, chatbot, or your help desk in your website. It's because Tideo is a service that enables you to create live chatbot and also live customer support, email marketing, and they also have an AI chat so you don't have to configure every response that you uh, will encounter from your visitors. Okay, so after you logged in, the first thing that you need to do is to set up um, multiple things here. So based on your priorities, you can set up your customer set of service yet, your AI chatbot yet, or your uh, email marketing first. Uh, in this video, I'm going to run you through the features first, and then I'm going to try to show you how we can add a, an AI chatbot in your website. Okay, so the first interface, that the first menu here is the dashboard. And the dashboard primarily is for seeing your overall metrics and the graph of performance of your chatbot. So uh, these are the leads that are required, the visitor on the pages. So you can actually uh, integrate your website to Tidio and they have a support for Shopify. So this is especially useful if you have Shopify. And they can also generate insights for you and your website. So this is the dashboard. Next, we have our inbox, which lists the chats that are uh, received from your uh, online uh, chatbot or chat box in your uh, website. So we have unassigned, my open, and solved. This is for uh, management purposes. Unassigned means that the um, incoming messages from your visitors are unassigned uh, to a person because it is a uh, because Tidio is a team application. You can add persons here to for you to assign that customer to. You can also integrate Tidio with other apps, so you can integrate with WhatsApp, so that you can create a chatbot over there, I believe. And then you you have your My Open conversation, which is a conversations that are assigned to you. Now, if you're alone and you operate your business by yourself then naturally you don't need to have these features because you will be assigned to all of the messages anyway. And next is the soft, which lists the um, closed messages that are solved or uh, done. Now tickets are the support messages that are sent by customers in the form of tickets. So it's not a conversation that they, uh, from their interaction to your chatbot, Rather, it's an email from your customer uh, requesting support. So it's a ticket and you can see them over here. And you can also see views, orders uh, of products, order status, order issues, and etc. Now, the on the op operators list, you have Lero, which is uh, Tidio's chatbot. But you can also add a real person uh, when things go a bit more complex and you might need a human touch uh, on the support over there. And we will explore Lero uh, after we uh, are done with the menus over here. Okay, so next are uh, next is Lero. This is your uh, your page to configure Lero. Next is the flows. So flows are the way for you to uh, automate your chatbot. So uh, you have your strategies. So like it, this is the way for you to configure your, uh, your chatbot uh, flow of conversation. So you might want to bring the conversation from uh, the chatbot uh, by, with your visitor to be like a sales or leads or support. This is where you can configure that. Next are the email marketing. Uh, campaigns uh, and so this email marketing menu is used if you want to have uh, an email marketing campaign for your website. Uh, Tidio has also got it covered for you and you can configure it just like other uh, email marketing campaigns. So you create a new campaign and you keep and you uh, share your campaign to uh, your mailing list that you can configure. Next is the customers. Now 
Uh, here's what I, what I talked about in email marketing. So once you create a new campaign and you create a new email, you will send them to your contact list, right? And your contact list are in your customer's menu over here with the two-person logo. Now, um, you can see them uh, real time and you can see their interactions to your website. This is the cool thing about Tidio. And you can also see their conversations if they're having any with your chatbot. And you can also have a list of your contacts and your subscribers of your email uh, mailing list. Okay, so next are analytics. Now, analytics is a breakdown of the dashboard uh, view of the uh, metrics that we explored earlier, your insights. So this is the uh, breakdown of the data uh, in your website, like conversations, tickets, and operator performance, online hours, customer intent, and leads. And lastly is the settings menu, which enables you to set uh, how your Tidio looks like in your website. So this is the chatbot, which is the main feature of Tidio, right? You can change the color, the operators, uh, you can see the uh, welcome image as a either the operators college or your logo and you can uh, change the call to action and etc okay so the next thing that we will cover is the tidio live chatbot which is the lero ai okay so now let's try to configure our lero ai chatbot real quick now once you click activate and you've linked your website you should be presented with this view now what we want to do is to configure but before that, uh, in the hub, this is your like main uh, dashboard for Lero AI. Next is the knowledge, which is the uh, knowledge base of the sets of uh, responses, you would say, uh, for Lero AI to present when a chat has uh, been risen up from your uh, customers. So you would need to add the Q&A and the, your websites for your data source. Uh, but Lira also have suggestions based on your entries over here. So as you uh, put in your Q&As manually, you would, uh, if you see suggestions, Lira AI will suggest you on the additional Q&A uh, as its data source for it to present as an answer. Okay, so let's uh, okay, so next is the tasks, uh, which is the uh, Lero's action tasks. This is the uh, mechanism that Lero uh, uses. So it has a lot of templates. Uh, it's it's like a it's like a an answering flow. So for example, so I'll, I'll I will show you with a with a template over here. So let's use this template now. Okay, so when we are in the flows uh, section, there are three things that uh, uh, builds these flows, which are triggers, which is the trigger of your uh, of your of the Lero AI. So, for example, the visitor says, uh, "This is when a the trigger is when a visitor uh, clicks or starts typing in the chat," and then your conditions. So these are the conditions. Uh, which will be the base of Lero's responses. And next are the actions. And we have a lot of actions here, including more advanced ones like uh, checking your synced Shopify store and uh, linking to Zapier even. Okay, so in this return policy example, when a visitor says something, the... Uh, it, the action is decision. So this decision uh, action at, will ask the visitor on what would they like to do, right? To return my items, know more about return policy, or check my return status. So next, uh, based on the responses, Lero uh, will will do either three of these uh, of this task. So they can either uh, give. Uh, if the answer is uh, no more about return policy, it will uh, it will explain the return policy and it will branch to these uh, responses and etc. So this is like this is the logic of Lero AI. So you can so you can configure the 
uh, AI and how it behaves and how it uh, answers your customers according to your need. Okay, so that is all from me. Uh, you now know about uh, Tidio, and I hope you can uh, get started on making your chatbot uh, with AI with Lero. And I hope you have a good luck.